number one, we cannot settle because we serve the most high. So our standard should be high. Psalms 82 and 6 says, I have said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high. That right there lets me know I need to have some standards. Number one, don't believe in the biological clock myth. A lot of us have been single for a very long time or it could be just for a little while. But all in all, you never know. Sometimes it's because our relationship with God is not where it's supposed to. Maybe we look for other people to fill, to fill voids that only God can fill. And when you do that, you know, that'll get you settled. And that's like anybody you meet, you feel they're the one who has a relationship that no one else can even compete with. Once you understand what his love is you know what i'm saying it's like nobody can step to you with nonsense so he has to equip you he has to teach you about his love you have to love him and only his presence everyone else should just be an asset number two that kind of leads me into don't fall for a potential either a person is or they are not so what i mean by that is it's like as females, we have this thing. Every time we meet a man, it's like, we see things in them, that gut be like, no, back up. That is not it. But we do this thing. Oh, I could, I could see. I, mm, You know, I could possibly change him. Potential. You know, potential. He could potentially, potentially lead me to Christ. No, sis. He's not doing that right now. You don't know when he's going to do that. This is where you pick your position. When you notice something, y'all can be friends. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by friends is you don't have to grow with an individual. You can grow with an individual, meaning like without a bond, as in like that's your girlfriend, that's your boyfriend, whatever, fiance. Y'all don't do that. Take the time apart to grow. And not only that, sometimes all we can do is plant a seed in an individual. Maybe that third go around, somebody might cross their path and awaken them. You know what I'm saying? But as of now, that's not your job. It's draining. It's going to drain you. And you might not get what you want. And then when you settle, it's like when you settle and fall for potential, in your head, you have this imaginary wedding, this imaginary thing that you're waiting to happen. That can lead to a heartbreak. That can cause confusion because you guys are not equally yoked. You guys do not see the same thing right now. Also, another thing would be, I wrote it down, y'all, because I do not want to miss nothing. Let's see. Lack of self-love is dangerous. Very dangerous. When you don't love yourself, you will be out here being a mini version of someone else. You know what I'm saying? I had that done to me. I didn't know myself at one point in life, and I was young, you know, chasing after a man. We're not supposed to chase no man, y'all. Don't chase no man. But I found myself turning into someone that was not me. I didn't even know who I was, so I couldn't even really pinpoint it. But I can say, when you start doing things, again, that gut feeling that doesn't align with your core values, you're changing. You're becoming something that is not that God did not ordain you to be, you know? And typically that's how a lot of us find our way back home when we realize that we took the wrong turn. So y'all really emphasize on listening to your gut. Another thing to fix with self-love and just loving yourself, positive affirmations. If you need somebody to tell you, like we need to avoid filler men. If you need somebody to tell you you're beautiful, look yourself in the mirror, I'm beautiful. I'm smart. I'm a Proverbs 31 woman. Whatever you got to say, say it. Like, don't just wait on someone else to tell you that to feel you need validation. You are fearfully, wonderfully made. You know what I'm saying? There's no one like you. So don't despise what God created. You don't have to wait on somebody to tell you that. And because when we do that, it's like anybody could say that the wrong guy. You beautiful, sis. Aw, oh, man. And you like, oh, oh, me? Me? You know what I'm saying? And then y'all get the talking and all of that. Listen, avoid, 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 avoid it. Okay? You can avoid it by just simply loving on you, 
learning who you are in Christ, reading scriptures that just bring so much joy and life into you. Also, Galatians 5, y'all know my favorite, Galatians 5, 22 through 23. And basically, if they're lacking one of these things, one of the fruit of the spirits is dangerous and is detrimental to you because that one thing that they're lacking could be the one thing that take you out. And I'm going to read it. And so if y'all have your Bibles, flip to Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Okay, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. So if they lack one, they lack them all. There is no in-between. Don't settle. Because there is someone out there that has all the fruits of the Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Don't settle. Like, I feel like we all personally know what we need and what's suitable for our purpose, you know? So, like, don't just be throwing anybody on the bandwagon with you. Some people come to your life and can be very genuinely good to you, but that don't mean they meant to be your man. You know what I'm saying? Speaking to my ladies, that doesn't mean that they're meant to be your man. Some people are just great companions or whatever the case may be. Everything in life serves purpose. So we must understand that. And just to simply re recap, you guys, I mentioned, don't believe in a biological myth, biological clock myth. Don't fall for potential. A lack of self-love is dangerous. In Galatians 5, 22 through 23 is our discernment. So thank you guys for watching. If you could please like, comment, and subscribe and share. That would be so great because this is all for the body of Christ. And there's so many people who need this information, but from a different perspective that's not so worldly, if that makes sense. Also, if you can connect with me and join my mailing list on my website at www.thekingfirst7.com. Again, that is www.thekingfirst7.com. That is where I share my blogs and future books to come. Now that we're talking about books, if you have not, check out my best-selling book at the moment, The Season of the Blue Butterfly, Walking Into Purpose. In that book, I share my testimony and how God allowed my pain to fill my purpose. That is how I even got this far, y'all. This is how I'm able to make content, YouTube videos, faith related, relationship related. This is that is my book is how it all started. So I'm working on a book called Healthy Boundaries to Deliverance. And basically it's a relationship recovery handbook. I go over all the boundaries that the Father installed in me that led me to deliverance.